Hey Pirates, this is the second video uh, on how to build Manticores, still focused on the scattergun version of Manticores, but now using knowledge from uh, the VXP Weekend and from a close preview held by Kixai a few days ago. Uh, still things may and will likely change in the actual event, so take everything here with a grain of salt. First of all, what we know about the target uh, based solely on the VXP Weekend Level 105. Uh, the ships have very fast reload. The Kodiaks fire six missiles at a time, the Interceptors fire four at a time, the turrets fire three big ones that leave ice fields, and those ice fields will debuff your ships, make them weaker. Um, they fire a pretty much non-stop stream because very, very fast reload. So it's very important to have plenty of phalanxes in the fleet or if you're going switchblades, uh, enough switchblades. High evade doesn't seem to help as much as I thought it would. Okay, so I'm now split between using Agility System 4 because there's nothing stunning or slowing your ships directly other than the fields and Agility System 4 doesn't help against the fields, Tactical Insulator would. Or instead using a, a more offensive special such as Explosive System 4. Uh, that remains to be confirmed. The missiles, enemy missiles, seem to do both penetrative and corrosive damage, more of the former. And there are no structures in the target. Uh, the turrets are mounted on ships. Still, they are turrets, so you do need turret defense. Uh, so having siege battery, assault battery, or frontline countermeasure system is very important. So that's it for the target. Very important to kill the ship being guarded by the two big turret ships, this one here as it reloads the other ships with their special ammo, whatever that special ammo does. I couldn't see a special projectile. But once you kill this guy, the other ships don't reload that special ammo against you. So go for that one first and fight all the other ships after. To get to it, you're going to have to kill the turrets and kill the, the turret platform ships. I think that's how they're called. I've said that before, I'll say that again, if you're behind, you should build just the naked shells for ranking. Rank is really, really, really important because the scattered guns are very slow to reload. So just build the naked manticores with the third one, rank. You need a lot of resources to get your first build started. Uh, hopefully you already did that and already got some rank on them. If not, Certainly, you're not going to have it now for this first raid. Choose a path. Uh, we already have all the corrosive components on the left. We should see uh, TLC this week, uh, May 1st, May 2nd, for the missile, the Scorpion, the Stinger, I think it's Stinger missile, Scorpion CIC, and something like that special. Uh, we don't know how hard it's going to be, but if you're waiting for that, I hope it comes with co uh, some tokens so you don't need to build everything from scratch on slow time or coin. If you're going the savage way, so that's the scatter gun. These are the components I would say 100% everyone should have beyond question. The savage CIC, the phalanx 4, at least one per ship, assault battery 4, Gives you turret defense and gives you penetrative and building damage. And six Panthera scatter guns. So that's all 100% sure beyond discussion. Moving on, there are many ways you can achieve resistances. On the left, you can see the options for penetrative, reactive armor 3, phalanx 4, D5M, C1M armors. The Savage Kodiak as a flagship will give you 50%. Penetrative resistance, so very good to have. It was available last raid, but takes quite some time to build. So it's, that's most for old players who already have it laying around. Bottom right, uh, three components that give you corrosive resistance. Panthera, Scattergun, Switchblade, and B5CO or C1CO armors. And top right, you have things that will give you both. 
So a lawyer armor CON, D5 CON, and the steel head screw will help you with both as well. So stock up on that, it's fairly common. In here, I'm not mentioning the new resistors yet, but we'll talk about them in a moment. These are the resistors available in tier 5 for second mission. The problem is Kixai is only allowing us to redeem one of each per week. So there's no way anybody's going to have all four you need for a fleet by raid. Everybody will have at most three of each. So we've got to make choices. Option one, this is primarily what I'm building right now. It has CML4 countermeasure loader to increase the scattergun reload because they are very slow to reload, even ranked. Corrosive resistor and RA3, I paired them up together. Uh, that gives me 97% penetrative resistance and 94% corrosive, so very good for defense. Then I use the new special roaring barrel system that came last raid because of the multi-shot, the reload, and the damage. Very important, that reload. That makes the ship a little bit slow, and you, you see I'm trying to put the new armor, so I don't think I'll have four plates of the new armor. I may have, depending on tokens, but that's the goal. That's what I'm building right now. After some testing, let's go and take a look at option two, which is identical to option one, but I took Agility System 4 out, and put explosive system four in. It seems to do better. I don't think I'll have time to reload before the raid start to refit, but if you can, uh, it's still risky, but I think it may be a better choice. Okay, so option two is my favorite. The problem you run with option two is there are not enough corrosive resistors to build four like that. So I'm actually building two like that. Okay, and then I'm building two slightly different, that's option three. So for these ones you'll see instead of RA3 I'm using Alloy COM and that brings the corrosive resistance way up but keeps penetrative too low. So then I use the penetrative resistor and it allows me to get 96% corrosive, 2% better than option two. And if I put a second phalanx 4, I get penetrative resistance to 95%. Okay, so like I said, I'm doing them with Agility System 4, but I think it's better if you go Explosive System 4. So option 3, and by the way, all the codes for each build are in the video description. All you have to do is copy from YouTube and paste in-game when you click Share in the shipyard and you paste it there and you have this ship just loaded as it is. Finally, option four. This is for people who got the ship, the Manticore and the weapon and the Savage but didn't get the special maybe. So uses older specials and also uses speed system six if you want to go for more speed. Instead of 55, this one gets 59. Uh, it loses depending on the comparison 3-4% resistance. It doesn't have any building damage special in there because I'm using frontline countermeasure system. Overall still performs decently and it moves around faster. I'm also using charged armor here so it keeps the repair time lower to 3 hours per ship. The other options they have 4 hours and 20 minutes repair per ship. It's very high. But given the high resistance, it may be they take less damage and need to repair less often. Remains to be seen. Uh, but I would still use these charged armors because they add no repair time. Even though their charge pool will be useless in high level targets, it will help in lower level targets. So overall, that's it. I hope that's helpful for everyone. See you next time.